Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing my part two of my beauty haul. A friend of mine um, was telling me about what, what stuff she uses for her hair basically and I've, I told her I've been using the bed head and I absolutely love it and I've used the Matrix and I absolutely love that. Don't get me wrong, I've used the affordable shampoos conditioner throughout like my whole life but since trying the higher end shampoo and conditioner, it really has helped with nourishing my hair because I had really damaged, broken, bleached hair. And it's taken me probably about four years to get my hair as healthy as it is again. And I did take a lot of kelp for that as well. Doctor took me off kelp when I ended up on morphine for some reason. So I dived into this, this shop that my friend told me and it was called Just My Look never heard of it before and it's this is what the bag looks like because i've took some things came in a bag which is what i got which was just a few things and my husband bought me some stuff so it came in a box so i was like oh okay um i've also got my debenhams missing item yes it finally come and i also got my boots that my husband bought me for part of my birthday as well. I didn't want to show it today because I'm going to put it in my birthday video but I thought I've got too much to show so I'll just show it today and then I'll roughly just remind you that I got it for my birthday on that video that I do. A few of you have asked to see that video so if you still want to see what I got for my birthday even though it's not until the 10th let me know. All right just my look I don't know anything about this company that's a recycling bag recycled bag that I do know um but when I went on there I was like Wow, there was a sale on at the time because my friend Bexy said there's a sale on so to go and have a look now. I went on and I found lots of shampoos and conditioners, hair treatments, oils, serums, hairsprays, colours, washing, wash out colours, gel, wax, everything, even scissors, everything for hair. The choice is crazy and I mean absolutely crazy and then they have a section for beauty they have candles which they do Yankee candles they've got um, beauty on there so they've got makeup on there they do a lot of essence on there never saw anything like KVD or anything like that don't think I've seen anything like Too Faced or Urban Decay but it was just like really affordable like drugstore brands I think they might have done Huda Beauty on there but I weren't too sure so and they do other things on there like the, the, it's massive i will link it down in the description box guys i won't link the things i've got because a lot of them are sold out now but I've, i'll link the link in the description go and check it out guys so let's get stuck in guys so my order was super wrapped in this bubble wrap i mean i can still smell something in there that i had in it and as you can see it, a lot it didn't take that long guys to come they literally i i ordered it and then i think about four hours later it, it I had an email saying it was getting packed and then before i knew it it was dispatched and i think it only took about two three days what else that um ben ordered for me came in this bubble wrap so you can see that they really really wrap everything up there was tons and tons of paper in here guys for the ones that come in the box i've disposed of it all but I've kept the box obviously so I can just take out the box and the bubble wrap just to show you. Okay, I don't need the invoices in here and I probably won't remember the prices guys so I'll give you a rough estimate of what they cost and so forth. I'm going to do my boots and debenhams last. We're just going to start with just my look and let's get stuck in now. So the first thing that I bought was this West Lab. You probably recognise West Lab as the um, bath salts that you get. They're... Um, they're, they're reasonably priced. When I go to my chemist to collect my medication, they always have, um, I think they have the yeah cleansing Himalayan salt, they have the normal salt, and then they have another one. I can't remember what the other one is. They have like three different choices. So I've never seen a bath fizzer with it. It smells amazing. So this one is a cleansing Himalayan salt bath fizzer. Let's just see what it says. So it says bathing instructions, drop under water, relax and enjoy a fragrance mineral enriched bath. It says join our wellbeing community. This West Lab cleansing Himalayan salt bath fizzer. So I'm just gonna plonk that in. One pink but it's coming up white there. 
Whoa! Well, that's what I call a fizzy bath. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, wow, that smells amazing. It's rose and pomegranate, guys. Can you see there? And this is the West Lab. Oh my God, buy more of these. They were a special offer on them from a, a shop that I'm going to be. Oh my God. Oh, it's tickling my leg. Look at my bath, it's like, oh my God, it's so creamy. I think I'm gonna to have to let Ben have one of these. I think I'll let Ben try the other one because Ben loves, absolutely loves West Lab bath salts. Oh, it's tickling my feet now. Oh my God. That, I think it's, it's still going. Oh my God, it's like a snow bath. Oh, it smells amazing. It's still going, I can still hear it fizzing. So there you go, so it's it's bath time for me. Got my candles lit. There you go, so that is that bath bomb. Look how nice that is. Definitely, definitely recommend them. I should have known, it's a familiar smell for me. So it was buy two, get one free. So there was three different ones, but the one, the other one I wanted was sold out. So I think I've got two of one, if that makes sense, yeah. So. The next one that I got was this one. This is the reviving one. I think the other one was relaxing. They had three different ones. Yeah. So this is the this is the Himalayan. Yeah. So I got two of the Himalayan, and then I got this one for free. This one is a reviving, and it's spearmint and eucalyptus. Phew! Jesus! I didn't smell that when it came before, but that's what <laughs> hell? That's really strong. Yeah somewhat minty yeah it's nice it's nice but I've, I've never seen the salts in spearmint and eucalyptus that's for sure i have seen the pink salts not seen this one i wouldn't mind finding the the salts like in the bag because ben has bath salts that's all he puts in his bath is bath salts or salt because of his psoriasis and that but yeah that was my first thing that i grabbed guys i grabbed them i was happy about that Moving on, I grabbed this, which is an Osmo. Now, I don't know, and I've never heard of this this brand called Osmo before, but I, I've been told off my friend Bexy. She swears by it. She said it's amazing. I think there's about four or five different ones, you know, where you've got brittle hair or you've got dry hair, coloured hair, uh, thick hair, curly hair, thin hair, that kind of thing. So this one is an intensive deep repair mask. It's cherry and almond, guys. It just says deep moisture, limited edition. This guys, two hundred and fifty mil. I paid three ninety five. I do remember that, guys. I think yeah, it was about three ninety five. That was yeah, it was, it was. I remember it. And um, what does it say? It says specially formulated for overstressed, heat traumatized, and chemically abused hair definitely me this deep moisturizer treatment helps mo restore the moisture and elasticity leaving her feeling silky smooth and manageable infused with extracts of jojoba and almond oil this hydrating addition cherry and almond fragrance and it just says apply to towel dried hair mid length before rinsing with warm water add heat adding heat will intensify oh intensify the heat mint. so so guys basically if you put a treatment on your hair and you put a bag on your head, just on your hairline or a shower cap, the heat makes it better. I tend to um, put it on and then I put one of them, them hair wraps in and I leave it for about 20 minutes and then I'll, I'll go and get Ben to wash it out for me. But that was 3 95 guys. They had all kinds of different treatments and I was like, oh, well, I'll try one of each. There's another one that I want. It's a massive tub and it is a hair mask restore treatment and that was 9.95 so i am going to go back and get that next month anything to do with hair is not on my no buy because my hair and Zach's and ben's hair all need treatments when i buy hair stuff i do share it with the boys every now and again ben no because he's got psoriasis he can't have shampoo and conditioner but Zach i do so that was that guys and then obviously ben got me this shampoo and conditioner let me just finish off mine first i bought this and this is a uh, Shira Candles Amber Noir. I've never heard of this company before at all. Let's just see what it says. 
It says, a rare dark essence of tuberose, violets and amber, sensual and mysterious. It will stimulate the senses and it's amber noir. Now, I do love um, melts. Obviously, I buy from Bubba's Melties. There's a few companies that I'm going to be shouting out through the year that are going to be doing as well. But let me just have a sniff. They packaged it really, really well. They do candles in this, guys, as well. And I think they do a votive in it. Wow. Ooh. What would I describe that? Very musky. But it's musky with a, a little bit of a, a sweet element to it. It's nice. It may be a little bit too overpowering that. For Ben, I think it will. But I'm going to try it. This was £1.70, guys, so nothing really. Um, what else did I grab? I grabbed some more things, guys. Yeah, here's my things. Let's do it. It was, um, again, buy two, get one free on, um, on makeup. Did I get this? Yeah, yeah, it was buy... Yep, buy two, get one free. So, first one I did was I grabbed the um, Essence Long Lasting Pencil, Edge Pencil. Now, you see the crayon pencil? I prefer these as my as my waterline liner than pencils. I used to use pencils, right? I tell you a little story. I used to do pencils, and you know the old pencil sharpeners? I remember once sharpening it, and then looked at it yeah that's fine I went to put it in my eye to do my eye my waterline and there was a, a little splint of wood that come off the sharpener which is still on the pencil and I didn't see and it actually just scratched me in the eye and I must have popped like my blood vessel blood vessels because all my eyes started to go red where the white is very creepy everybody said that it was scary but my eye was really really sore and since then I never ever ever used pencil in my waterline so it was bad to get one free so I got two black to last me for the whole year because as you know this is my last beauty now for 2021 I probably won't even I wouldn't um, buy any more now until then I also bought a purple because I do like to do the odd purple look and again it's that same kind of pencil I used to have lots of purple eyeliners from Avon but I just a lot of them I had to throw away because I had them for like 10 plus years and not even used them. So that was that, guys. I think these were about £2.50, no, but £1.50, some at £1.60 each, so next to nothing. So that's that there. And then I ended up buying this lot again, so another three. So I got the Essence Blush. Um, never tried essence blush. I've never tried essence before until that mascara, which is really really good by the way It's not my favorite, but it is really good. So here's the blush. I like um, like a peachy kind of blush So it's quite nice, but I I will like Yeah, it's like a peachy tone. I do have the I think it might have been the L'Oreal one the peach one But I do like that as well really inexpensive guys i think it was one pound fifty then i got the other mascara which i wanted there is a third one that's sold out at the minute but i will get that when it comes back so i've got all the set so this is the lash princess sculptured volume mascara i didn't check what the other one was to be honest false lash effect i like this it does make my eyelashes eyelashes look very very long and this one obviously is the sculpted volume if this is a curved brush because i think i did order a curved brush one yeah it's slightly can you see how it's slightly curved i got that and then i got um this free i still think it works out you know you get your cheapest free so I, it may be the blusher i got free i'm not too sure but this is the essence camouflage matte concealer i'm trying to buy a lot of, mis of concealer this year because the one thing i do um run out of a lot if i can't be bothered with um putting a foundation on and a concealer i do just put concealer on under my eyes round here around my chin and just blend that in and i don't have to mess about them with putting foundation and primer and all that on but this was really inexpensive as well let's have a look at the doofa yeah not too bad <coughs> an awful shade i got a light shade guys i don't know if it's too light it's light enough let's put it that way yeah, I think it's a nice shade that. So yeah, that was that. And then I ordered the 
Last Imperfection Concealer. Um, I've already got one. I'm at the, the bottom of it now. I loved it. And that's why I went and grabbed another one. This is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. Sorry, 16 hour coverage. It lasts, sorry. It's brilliant. Really, really good. Um, I normally just stick to my Revolution Concealer, to be honest with you guys. But I'm, I'm branching out now. I've just bought the Ordinary Concealer, which has just come out like all together and now obviously I've got the collection which is really really good so I do recommend this a lot very inexpensive £3.50 something like that this was all super cheap obviously Ben's bought me stuff as well but this that I grabbed was really really cheap so that was that guys so that was my little grab that I got um let's get straight into what Ben got me so let's put these here so I asked Ben to get me a shampoo and conditioner. He normally gets me the bed head because Ben does all the shopping and I just give him a list of things that I need and he'll do it that way. So this is what Becky recommended. And I wasn't expecting these bottles to be this big. I was like, Jesus Christ, for that price. Guys, these were super cheap. And I mean, super, super cheap. I may have had my receipt and I've put it away, guys, but this was really cheap. I think it was something like, 12.95 or something or 9.95 it was cheap they come in like three different ones now i'm going to put my glasses on guys because it's very very small right in so it says the osmo duo blinding shine so it says one times blinding shine shampoo a thousand mil a thousand mil i've never seen a product a shampoo and conditioner for a thousand mil unless i've gone into a cash and carry um it isn't foreign so i'm not too sure it looks like it's german to be honest with you um it says the ultimate shine enhancing duo with moringa oil and silk protein for super smooth super shiny frizz free results perfect for everyday use and that is all it says about it it gives you a list of precautions osmo um Obviously, I wanted the blue ones as well, and I was going to go back and get the blue ones, but they were sold out, unfortunately. And then um, when they come back in stock, they'll probably go back to the original price, which is something like eighteen ninety five or something, something to that effect. So yeah, it just says blinding shine. It doesn't it doesn't say whether it's for dry hair or greasy hair or colour damage. But now Bex said she uses this and she, she didn't gel with it as much. But everybody's got different hair follicles and different, you know, takes different items. For the size of this, it's absolutely massive. I don't know what it smells like, guys. So maybe we'll have a quick sniff. Oh, yeah, it smells nice, actually. I like nice smelling shampoo and conditioner, especially when you can smell it on your hair after you've done your hair. I love that. So that was what he got me guys which is super big um this wasn't part of my birthday present this was just stuff that normally i ask him to get me bed head on the shocker list which is quite expensive he gets it from amazon it's as the, i don't think as the stock it right moving on so i dropped a, a tiny little hint to him that they had melts in there and they had my favorite ultimate favorite yankee candle scent i've not been collecting yankee candle for a very long time candles i do still have a whole cupboard full of them and of you know the old ones of these and stuff which we're going to keep for as long as we need to when they're extinct and there's no such thing as yankee candle and then we can sell them and make a bit of a profit on it that's our idea but for now a lot of them that we've got are rare and retired so i asked them to just pick me up a fluffy towels yeah, one fluffy towels. Anyway, he said there was a deal on. I think it was buy five for six ninety eight or six pound or five ninety eight or something. So he bought me five. So fluffy towels. So this is the Yankee Candle Wax Melt Fondant Cessure. Fluffy towels, and it has a little bit of a scrap. Oh God, that is my favourite scent, guys absolutely love yankee candle fluffy towels and um oh what's my other favorite this other one that's here um kilimanjaro <sighs> love that one so i got one 
two, three fluffy towels, which I'm super chuffed about. And they're in this packaging, which is it's kind of weird. I mean, what's the whole idea of, of these little bits? There's like nothing in there. Why don't they just keep them to their own packaging? They're going to get that. So that was them three guys. And then he bought me two of the um, chocolate cake. It's the vanilla cupcake. Yum, yum. Mmm. Yes. We have got some of these in a melt, but because they're like really old, we don't want to mess with them. So that's what I got. That is everything from Just My Look, guys. I will link Just My Look down below. Go and check it out. See what you think. See if you can find some stuff in there. They do it. They do it. Everything in there, everything to beauty, candles, um, hair products, a lot. Really, really good. I've, you know, like my friend said, she was a little bit unsure at first because the price is really good and we've never heard of this company before. But, you know, looking at the reviews they've got, they're all really nice, positive reviews. Every single, I didn't find one negative review unless I just wasn't looking close enough but i couldn't find any bad reviews really really good reviews right guys moving on only a couple of things left here so debenhams it finally came it took 14 15 16 17 18 19 19 days for this to arrive and the size of it i knew it was going to be a miniature size but gee whiz this guys was 14 pound 40 yeah, £14.40. Now, they've put two ninety nine on there. Like I said, I checked my other invoice. I did only pay one shipping fee and it was two ninety nine. So basically, they're all supposed to come in one package and for whatever reason, they decide to send them separately, which is just absolutely balmy. Didn't make sense. No wonder they've gone into liquidation. Why don't you just send it all together? It saves some money. I mean, it has cost them three, six, nine quid to send three little items. It's just bonkers. I pay that to send a, a, a massive parcel to Ireland. Anyway, rant over. Um, yeah, so this is the Kat Von D, guys. I'm finally trying Kat Von D. Um, I'm going to try this Essence and the Ordinary first and then I'll probably dip into my KVD. So this is the Perfect Cat Eyes and it's a mini eyeliner and mascara set. Now as you know I got the Go, the go Big or Go Home, the big mascara which is in my bag here. Which is the bag that I got from the cult box. Oops. I've put my KVD stuff in there, so I'll show you what that is like. So I've heard so many mixed reviews again about the KVD eyeliner. Some people rate it as being really, really good. Other people rate it as being really, really bad. Um, yeah, that's a cute little box that, but they're just wrapped up in black tissue paper. So let's have a look what the crack is. It smells nice. So, this isn't going to last me very long. By the way, guys, I have tried the NYX eyeliner and the Essence eyeliner. The Essence eyeliner is good for the thick kind of line, and it does really good for the small tick, but it's, it doesn't it doesn't punch out the black that I like. Now, this is the NYX tick and the Essence line. The NYX has, it's stayed normally with my Renaissance. It starts to like you know like break away and you've got like a fade out tick and you've got hardly anything there these are still good now guys it's half one in the morning now yeah i've had this on since 10 o'clock this morning this makeup and it still looks absolutely flawless and at the end i'll tell you what that is that's on my face and what i thought about it very very quickly so this is the eyeliner and it is a felt tip pen don't need to use it too much but it seems nice nice soft nib on that and then obviously the mascara we've seen in the last video um i'm not going to use this or my big one until i'm ready to use it but i'm just going to stick them two in there and that's a good part of it moving on guys ben bought me these few items from boots boxes all packaged at the bottom as well guys so just my look very very good secure packaging i've got all this packaging i don't know what i'm going to do with it all there you go put that down there with that receipt okay so three things three items now i went i went back on to or should i say i went on to books because i just wanted to check the 
if that offer was still on from um, Revolution just to see if they had any different things in there and it wasn't on but when I went through I thought somebody said that Boots was KVD so I went on to KVD first things first I grabbed it because it was back in stock I wanted this when I grabbed the um, the squeeze me palette because I seen Paige Fat Bones do that on her channel so when I seen that they had the yellow one back in I thought oh I've got to get it I've got to get it it's just super cute super cute these are so tiny Th these would be great for like if you're going away for the weekend and you don't want to be carting around I do have an issue with the box though <laughs> doesn't matter don't need it so this is sunshine makes me happy it really does when we're not having much of it so these are all like the yellow tones i don't know if i showed you the squeeze me but i will show you tiny 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 weeny little mirror and then here are the shades so there's nine little pans and they are tiny tiny pans but i did swatch squeeze me i did didn't i, I did squat a uh, swatch squat swatch <laughs> swatch um, I'm going to swatch this one and see what it's like. So let's try the matte yellow because yellow is really, really funny. That's nice. That's nice. So let me just. Whoa. That punches out a really nice colour. I wonder if Paige has got this one. So let me try a shimmer because the shimmers are like goldy or like yellowy goldy. Oh my lord, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice little palette. Um, these were five quid, guys. I mean, it's a makeup obsession again, but just, how cute are them? I just think they're mega cute. And for five quid, you can't complain. They're what I call little wallet, wallet things. I might just stick them in my Kat Von D bag as well. So that was five pound, guys. And then he got me this. <laughs> so excited. And this. So he said, what did you buy? Um kvd because he knows i've been wanting to try kvd and i said i bought the purple lipstick he says all oh, right he says not like you you know i get your red and i said i can't afford both of them and he says well if you want it for your birthday i can get it for your birthday but if you don't i'll, I'll don't bother but he did he said he'd get it for my birthday so it's the red one guys and it is i don't know because i can't find my glasses let's have a look so this is the santa sangra but I've got a red and a purple. The purple is starting to split. And that was from Debenhams. But if you look at the boots one, it's full to the top. There's no splitting. It's like it looks like old stock, which I'm not happy about. But I'm going to keep my red one in the box, to be honest with you guys. So that was that. I think that was... I think that was £14, guys. And I know that it's £16 to £18 on Debenhams. That I do know. And then the Alchemy, Alchemist Holographic Palette. I've been after this for ages. I bought the W... Is it W7? I bought a cheap one. I think it's W7 or it's a collection. I can't remember. I can't remember, but I got it in home bargains. It was the exactly the same shape. It's like a dupe for this. Um, and it had three pans in it. Really, really good highlighter for what I paid, which was 99p. 99p for a friggin a, a palette of highlighters right before i open it let's see what it says so it says holographic high shimmer formula layer or wear alone highlight everything oh damn right so this is the last item guys so i'll take the glasses off but the packaging's amazing i like the keeping up with that it's like a holographic toned yeah i love it i love it so let's see and it's magnetized i like the fact that all her stuff is magnetized now i haven't got any birthday money left. i've got a little bit of birthday money left but i'm spending that on a, a necklace from scarlet and chains um but if i do get any more like money off anybody else in family or whatever i think i may just grab um a blusher from um kvd and i've pretty much got a full face then pretty much apart from foundation and concealer but they get really bad reviews so i won't too sure about that so let's reveal so this one's got four pounds let's do the one at three savage look at that nice big triangle mirror with my big fat thumbprint on it already um there we go so this is the part where i need to read what it says the shades are 
So this one says green emerald. This one says blue sapphire. This says ultraviolet amethyst, which is my birthstone. Amethyst. And this one says pink opal. Oh, got to try that purple. Just check I've got a clean. Ooh, I like a good highlighter. Look at that. Wow, let's try that one. I don't like swatching. You know I don't like swatching my pans, but... Ooh, bloody hell. They're very, very bright, aren't they? I'm going to like this. I'm going to love this palette. I'm, I am a highlight girl. I do like my highlights. Ah, I will admit. This was really cheap as well, guys. Um, my order from Boots was £30.70. So I think this was £10.15. 15. Yeah, yeah. That, that must have been about £15. No. Yeah, £15. Because I've got free posted, guys, with Boots because I spent over a certain amount. So there you go, guys. So that is my just my look and my Boots items i will be bringing back whatever ones i got for my birthday in my next video don't know if that's going to fit in that bag so that is everything guys so let's just do a recap quickly two concealers one from collection one from essence a blush two black one purple eyeliners one mascara from essence yankee candle melt and a sheer candles one three bath bombs my Osmo Duo Shampoo and Conditioner in 1000ml, I will let you know how good that is, and my Osmo Hair Treatment as well. That is it. That is everything, guys. Now, before I wrap this up, I thought I'd just come back and tell you quickly, what I've got on my face today is a miracle. So, guys, sometimes I'm in so much pain, I don't want to get up and put full faces of makeup on because it's just time-consuming and I don't always feel the best. But today I thought, I've just been lazy today guys, I thought, do you know what, I don't want to put any makeup on today. So what I started to do was just get my, get my big brush, I got my um, Unicorn Cosmetic brush, because I've not used any of them. Give it a good old swirl and then off I went, do 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 do. I had primed my face before that um, and then I went over with this miracle stuff, this Laura Geller powder foundation. Is amazing guys it went on flawless it's not gone all do you know it gets all cakey and stuff like that <gasps> Aisha thank you for telling me about this I don't even know if I want to bother with the Laura Mercier now because this just is amazing absolutely love it and that's it guys I just wanted to come back and tell you well, that my heart went there, I thought I was going to break it. And obviously the mascara I've used today is absolutely brilliant. All the new makeup that I've bought so far, apart from the palettes, as far as this, this like your foundation and your concealer and all that, I'm happy, I'm happy. So that's it for beauty, guys, for 2021. I doubt it very, very much there'll be any more makeup, that's for sure, unless I've run out of it, which I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I may just come back and do another um, Just My Look in the future. Um, maybe for her products, for me or for Zach or for Ben or whatever. If you want to see more of that, I'll do that. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Pop your comments on below. Welcome to new subscribers. I always forget to say at the beginning of my video because I just want to get in there and get it done. But thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. What are we going to do? I don't know, we're just going to go with the floor for the next year and see what we do, what we come up with. I am planning anything, um, guys. I'm just going to go with it. What I feel like doing, I'll do. But I know that a lot of you have asked to see what I've got for my birthday, so I will be doing that video in February sometime. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye for now. Okay, guys, so I've just finished drying and straightening my hair I'll see if I can turn the camera around and show you Let's see if I can go close so I can see so it feels amazing it's got a really nice shine to it guys it smells amazing can you see my fringe is pretty straight it's really nice my roots are growing through again but that shampoo worth 
every penny, including the um, the hair mask. Desperate to get my hair cut, but it's growing really nice now. But yeah, feels lovely. So I have put on my face this L'Oreal. Let me just put the light on there. This L'Oreal, and it says anti wrinkle extra recovery cream. So I put this on an hour ago, guys, and let it settle in. And then I put this SD Focus, SD Lauder Time Zone, and this also is um, a reducing anti wrinkle cream with SPF 15. And it's just a tiny little jar, but never tried SD Lauder before, so I'm happy to try that. I finished off my hair with the rest of this Moroccan oil. Thank you to Lisa, Mad About Beauty. Um, she did actually send this to me and I love it. So that's it guys, night time done. Oh, take care. I'm going to be doing some testing soon guys with these three palettes, lots of mascara, but for my birthday, I've got a new beauty thing. It's like a, a box to put all my makeup in. I'm so excited to get it. I'm gonna put it on there and take this away and put this somewhere else um, because it is handy so yeah all right guys take care Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.